Hi guys, this is Alan. Welcome to another episode of Bruce and Reviews. <sighs> On today's episode, we're going to be discussing the new movie for the Power Rangers. Uh, the original Rangers coming back to the uh, theaters. We, we have uh, five Rangers, uh, which are Jason, uh, which is... The leader, uh, jock of the group, Billy, who's the brain, Kimberly, who's uh, the popular girl from the group uh, and joins them, Trini, who's the badass, and Zack, who's the risk taker uh, from the Power Rangers. In the new Power Rangers, we also see that we get a new, edgier version of the teenagers that uh, come from Angel Grove. Along with the original Power Rangers, we're brought back to Zordon, uh, Alpha 5, and uh, the, the evil Rita Repulsa. We're also brought back to uh, somewhat of the original swords. Uh, it's a new take on the uh, original Megazord, but uh, again, kind of take a take on the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Triceratops, the Mastodon, the uh, Sabertooth Tiger, and the Pterodactyl. With these new swords, we get a CGI adaptation of them, which is a new take on, on, the, on the Megazords. It does appeal to a broad a variety of audience, from the uh, younger teenagers all the way to the adults, and obviously with the adults, we're brought back to with a nostalgia feeling. If you were an 80s or late 80s or 90s kid, uh, you obviously saw the original Power Rangers. One of the main factors in contributing to bringing back to watching the new movie, of course. For this next section of the Bruce and Reviews, we will be discussing the plot and a summary. And, you know, our review on, on the uh, Power Rangers movie. So please be aware of spoilers. There is a spoiler alert before we move forward with uh, the uh, Bruce and Reviews. Put a spoiler alert. <laughs> so the plot concentrates with the uh, Power Rangers, first of all, getting to meet each other. As you will be able to see in the movie, uh, the three Rangers that meet each other right off the bat are Jason, uh, Billy, and Kimberly. One day, are, uh, all three of them are in detention for some trouble they've caused. Jason's, uh, like I said, is the jock, and uh, he uh, comes uh, from a troubled house. You he, you can tell that he he's a... Uh, top, you know, player in his football team gets injured in a car accident, uh, which leads him again to detention. Billy being the, the smart guy in the group is actually put in detention for exploding a locker room. And Kimberly is in detention for a situation where she's uh, displayed some inappropriate photos. They later catch up with uh, Zach and Trini uh, at the location of where they will find the power coins. One of the main things that it's very that are very different from the original series is that you will see that Rita was actually the original Green Ranger, a part of the original Power Rangers in which Zordon was the Red Ranger. Uh, as you will see in the movie, Rita betrays Zordon, which uh, leads to them hiding the power coins, uh, which are eventually find, found by the new set of Rangers. After fi finding the power coins, uh, Jason, uh, along with the, his group of, of new Rangers, uh, they eventually meet Alpha 5, who is uh, played by Bill Hader. Uh, as you can see, uh, this, this Alpha 5 is similar to the original Alpha 5 and uh, its quirkiness and, and uh, uh, kind of cheesiness to the, to the series. Alpha 5 introduces the Rangers to Zordon. One of the differences with this Zordon from the original Zordon is that this Zordon doesn't have as much faith in this group of Power Rangers as the original Zordon. The original series Zordon obviously is the one that brings the rangers and gives them the power coins in this uh version of our adaptation of the power rangers you will see that alpha 5 is actually the one that brings them together and has the stronger faith in, in the new power rangers the new movie concentrates a, a lot on the big buildup of them being able to morph that's actually one of the uh more complex parts of the plot uh the the fact that they're able to come together as a group and learn to be not only uh, the Power Rangers but actually friends is one of the things that contributes to them being able to morph. This is very different from the original series. Uh, the Power Rangers in the original series are giving the morphers which allow them to morph. This uh, version of the Power Rangers, they, are, they actually need to be almost one with their power coins and, and be able to harness that so that they're able to morph. This proves to be an, an actual, uh, actually pretty difficult task. Uh, the 
the power coins actually are more of a symbiote similar to Venom, uh, being able to transform into Venom. Uh, the, the power suits for the Power Rangers are actually something similar to that. They uh, they actually take over the bodies of the Power Rangers in a, in a fashion of almost an armor uh, rather than a suit. So it becomes one of them once they are able to morph. The plot also consists of, uh, like I said, an edgier and darker side to the Power Rangers. So in this version of the Power Rangers, uh, at one point Billy actually dies and is revived by Sordon. Uh, this is a key point, key part in the in the movie uh, because after this is when they are able to morph and take on the evil Rita. Rita, uh, obviously possessing the green coin, uh, already has a very uh, strong control over the power uh, of uh, the green coin and is uh, very knowledgeable on what it can do and and the power of, or the destruction that she can cause with it. Allowing to, for, for uh, Billy to be able to revive and to come back to life, Sordon actually gives up the ability to be able to come back in a, human, a humanoid form or alien form uh, rather than being behind the wall. So when he does that, he's actually uh, giving his life in exchange for Billy. And uh, we, we kind of come back to seeing uh, an old Zordon as opposed to the towards the beginning of the movie where you see a Zordon that's more selfish and uh, you know, thinking more about maybe himself. And uh, it, it's at this point that he allows uh, his trust to come through to the new Power Rangers and to be able to give Jason the ability to be the new leader in the group. Rita, who's played by Elizabeth Banks, uh, comes back as a, as a creepy and very uh, weird version of, of Rita. Very different from the one we've seen in the original series. Uh, her sole purpose is to come back and st steal the Zeo crystals, uh, which will allow her to become more powerful. In, in the movie, Rita actually steals gold from the people from Angel's Grove. Uh, she does it with the purpose of being able to bring back Goldar and uh, uh, to seek her Zeo crystal and uh, take over Angel Grove and eventually the whole world. Eventually, she's able to be successful and uh, and make Goldar rise once again. This Goldar is very different from the one we've seen. This Goldar doesn't talk and uh, is not very uh, alive, you could say. It's more of a sort of, uh, you know, a robot uh, version of Goldar. So it's uh that was a little bit disappointing in the movie i, I would have liked to see maybe a, a little bit of a character to goldar uh especially the original uh fans from the series i'm, I'm sure they probably felt something somewhat similar to that as well by the time goldar is built the rangers have uh possessed full power over their coins and are in uh power rangers mode and they've been they've morphed already at this point uh, and of course, they're able to bring back their Megazords. Uh, the Megazords, as I said, they're, they're different from the original Zords, which was also kind of disappointing to see uh, for a lot of uh, fans. It wasn't the worst, but we they are able to bring them together. And we do see uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Triceratops, the Pterodactyl, and the Sabretooth. Maybe the one that was uh, the most uh, disappointing to see was the Mammoth. The mammoth looks a very different version from the mammoth. We know this one has six legs. Uh, for some reason, we've been trying to figure it out. Eight legs, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Zords do come together to become uh, the Megazord that we know. This is a different uh, version of the Megazord. I'm still trying to figure out uh, where everything went with the new Megazord. But uh, nevertheless, it is the Megazord that we get in this uh, version of the Power Rangers. Uh, they do come into battle with the supersized Goldar, and that is the major battle scene in, in the movie. Uh, we do get a, a, a pretty good fight from between the two, uh, which actually destroys a lot of Angel Grove. And uh, uh, it ends with uh, the, the Power Rangers able, being able to defeat Goldar and send Rita back into space. And of course we couldn't get uh, the Power Rangers without some kind of camera appearance from the original Green Ranger and the Pink Ranger. Uh, we get Tommy Oliver doing a brief scene with uh, Kimberly, the original Kimberly, which is or Jason David Frank and uh, Amy Jo Johnson. Overall, the, the Power Rangers movies uh, 
great, uh, pretty, pretty great movie. Uh, for nostalgia purposes, I think it was very good for the old fans and for the newer fans. Uh, they get a kind of a brief uh, feel for what we got to see when we were younger. But it's definitely a newer, edgier version that uh, the new fans can appreciate. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the sequels to this movie. Uh, and at the end of the Power Rangers, we obviously get a hint of uh, Tommy Lee Oliver coming in, up in the new uh, Power Rangers movie. For Bruce and Reviews, we're going to give Power Rangers 4 out of 5. Uh, we, we feel like they did a pretty good job in uh, bringing uh, back the Power Rangers and this rebooted version. And uh, although it didn't hit uh, uh, the perfect image of you know what we feel like would be the right Power Rangers movie, it's obviously moving in a good direction for future sequels and uh, I'm, we're really looking forward to it. We, we hope you have enjoyed this uh, review of uh, Power Rangers. And please stay tuned for future reviews on uh, upcoming movies. And uh, make sure you watch Power Rangers uh, out in theaters now. Please follow us on Facebook and uh, Twitter and Instagram. You can find us at Geek Studios. Please find the link below. Yeah. Thanks again, guys. And until next time.